interesting. What, 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 um, what would we go to to encounter Jesus? What ends would we go to? This group, they, they opened the roof. They were so anxious to get the paralytic man before Jesus because they knew of his reputation. And, of course, what does he do? He performs a miracle. But some people, hmm, what, who do you think you are kind of an attitude doing such things? And, you know, it was really interesting because in, in that day, a paralytic basically was probably being punished by God for his sins. So when Jesus said, your sins are forgiven, forgiven, he was, again, only God can forgive sins, so he was blaspheming as far as the Pharisees were concerned. But also, he cured the man, which really astounded people because the people began to get the connection. There is a connection here between this great rabbi and God. And why do people doubt miracles? Why do they doubt that people have the ability to forgive? Yeah, we priests, we forgive in the name of, the, of God. But each one of us is called to forgive because we are human beings and we all make mistakes. We are all called to forgive and we are all called to ask for forgiveness. But to, to, to go to any, to, to, to give credit to the paralytic and the people who are with him, they would go to any lengths to encounter Christ. Will we do the same and be open to how God works in our lives? Or do we always put, who does he think he is in the way? Hello, OLPH. My name is Mary Lynn Januszewski, and I'm the Director of Finance and Operations at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Parish in Glenview, Illinois. And this message comes to you with heartfelt gratitude and thanks for your ongoing generosity and support of OLPH Parish. This overwhelming generosity allows us to continue to serve and to minister to the parish community in so many different ways. So thank you, OLPH, for all you do. You are much appreciated.